Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the pink sauce lady has finally quit. Not only has she stopped advertising her product, but she's now gone on to do something else. And if you ask me, it's clear that she's desperate for money. All right, guys, we're on holiday. Welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. Honestly, I never thought I'd see the day where the pink sauce lady hangs up her gloves. So Chef P, the pink sauce lady, the notorious creator of the magic poo sauce. And the reason I say magic is because of his capability to magically transform itself. It left Chef P's house looking like like this and then arrived at the customer's house looking like this and somehow her pink sauce managed to grow an intelligent mind and create its own little civilization I mean that's magic if I ever saw it but that was ages ago guys yeah that was a long long time ago everything's changed since then okay she's come out with a powder we all know this already all right and she was promoting this powder which I like to call a uh, food color and she was heavily pushing this on TikTok to now only not push it anymore she doesn't seem to be talking about the pink sauce at all in fact she's talking about a different product a product that isn't even hers. She just wants that commission money, baby. Which I find absolutely hilarious given the fact that she was battling with Dave's Gourmet and battling the haters claiming that the pink sauce will rise once again. <laughs> well, it's not. Instead, it's IUI Lashes DIY Extension Kit. Perhaps she was talking in riddle when she was talking about the, the pink sauce prevailing. Maybe she actually meant the, uh, the Lashes DIY Extension Kit. Sounds pretty nasty. <laughs> Very sexy. But look, we are going to take a little look at that in a bit because it's not the only product she's promoting. She's got a couple on, on the ear so far. And she just seems like she's completely changed her game, which is ironic given the fact her bio is game changer. Yeah, that's true. She actually has completely switched the game. It's almost like she's decided to move on to Elden Ring after playing Cooking Mama for three years. I was going to order some pink sauce so I could try for you guys right here on camera, but unfortunately they don't ship from the US to the UK, but I'm probably lucky in that department because they'll probably arrive on my doorstep looking like E.T.'s turd. Do you remember like months ago when she said she was releasing new flavors, but it just never happened? Let's actually revisit those flavors and see what she was promising her customers. So she's got the pink sauce powder, not mustard, blue sauce, and green sauce. Wow, green sauce, you say? Well, I've always wanted to cover my fried chicken in Hulk's nutsack fluid. But yeah, the only one she actually released was the pink powder and the blue powder. She bailed on all the other ideas and we never heard of them ever again. But she did have somewhat of a manic episode considering she was chugging her pink sauce from a Prosecco glass with boobs on it. <laughs> Oh, I ought to get myself a glass with boobs on it. I haven't seen any boobs in months. Regardless of my boob seeing, I thought that the pink sauce was meant to be added to food. I didn't realize you could consume it down your esophagus like it was some sort of soda. I mean, surely that can't be healthy. Oh, you'll have diarrhea after, that's for sure. And look, call it what you will, all right? You might call it a smart marketing strategy, but in my opinion, it definitely ain't worth the risk of stomach ulcers and bowel cancer. And bloody hell, here she is again, look, making some lemonade and adding some blue powder in there. Look, I like my lemonade the way it is. Just leave me alone. Oh, hang on, ladies and gentlemen. Turns out I was wrong. She did actually promote the green and yellow sauce again. Let's take a look. Okay, then. Something tells me we need to get the DEA involved in this. Oh, hang on, what's she making there, then? Is that crystal meth? Well, no one told me they were rebooting Breaking Bad. But let's remove the comedy for a second. This is what I was talking about when I said food color. And as you can see, she's adding some sort of white suspicious liquid here and then adds her green powder to it and magically changes color. Now, if you ask me, that's exactly what food coloring does. So... 1-0 to Curtis. Well, actually, it's 2-0 to Curtis because recently I've defended myself against some spammers and scammers. Well, Curtis, how do you do that, you might be asking? Well, that's thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Aura. One of the most annoying things to me in the world, ladies and gentlemen, is when I receive a text message from a random number claiming that I've missed my package delivery. And I'm always like, I never ordered anything. How's this then? Well, I'll tell you exactly who it was. It was a scammer. How on earth do they get my info? Well, this happens because large companies can't protect our data. For example, Ticketmaster was recently hacked, and this led to 560 million users having their info sold on the dark web. And this info they were selling included names, addresses, emails, phone numbers, credit card details on sale for anybody to buy. And that was just one example amongst many. Thanks to Aura, they alert me every single time my data is breached and removes it from any site it might be on. And this, of course, without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, sorry, hang on two seconds. Hello? 
Ah, oh, right, buddy. It's my mate, sorry. He's just wondering how I significantly reduced my spam calls and messages. Well, uh, funny enough, I uh, just signed up with Aura. But this isn't all Aura has to offer. They also monitor my credit score. They give me a VPN, parental controls, and an antivirus. Oh, I gotta say, I'm pretty angry. Angry at myself for not finding Aura sooner. I got hacked last year, nearly lost my YouTube channel. But the man you see before you today is a man who sleeps safely through the night, knowing that Aura is working hard to protect mine and Jerry's data. In it, Jer? Oh, I love Aura. They keep me safe. Me too, Jer. Me too. And if you want to feel as safe as me and Jerry, you can visit this link on screen, www.aura.com slash Curtis Price, or click the link in the description and try your first two weeks for free. With that said, just want to thank Aura for sponsoring today's video. Happy days, guys. Now, where were we? That's right, talking about the pink sauce and why she drinks it. <laughs> but regardless, I don't really see the appeal in drinking sauces. You know, perhaps it alters your genes in some way, turns you into one of the monsters from Resident Evil Village. When you actually acquire the packeted food colouring, you have to go to the store again and buy more ingredients to mix this together to make a pink sauce. She adds like sour cream, milk, mayo, sweet chili. I mean, is it even practically her sauce at that point if you're just mixing a bunch of other sauces in with it? I mean, she's already missed that train anyway because, uh, you know, Heinz released a Barbie pink sauce. I mean, she's lost. I mean, do I feel bad for her? Of course I do. I, I do feel bad. You know, I imagine the business deal didn't go quite as expected with Dave's Gourmet, but yet... Her follow-up is what damaged her reputation even more. And the whole thing with her claiming that Dave's Gourmet didn't pay her, but then the company actually released receipts showing that they actually did pay her, it just didn't give her a good look at all, and probably really did damage her brand a lot. I mean, clearly it did, because no one's really buying the powder, I don't think. Only August the Duck. Each one of these packets, packets that make one single serving, $20. Yeah, he was the only customer she had in the last six months, unfortunately. She also has a recipe for pink pasta as well, and, and, and this is what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, because I've never been more excited for something than taking my very nice, delicious, original carbonara and making it look like unicorn intestines. And I was really looking forward to the diarrhea afterwards. That, that was the best part for me. I mean, if you love the pink sauce, I mean, you must love having diarrhea. <laughs> And she's also seemed to be having some sort of manic breakdown as well because she keeps dressing up like King Cooper or Bowser and uh, seems to be holding a Nerf gun. Oh yeah, guys, you get it because, you know, Bowser and the Nerf gun relate to the brand Pink Saucy. Do you remember when that happened? Do you remember the, how it relates? Yeah, no, me neither. <laughs> Girl, you a whole mom and you're acting like this. Yeah, I know, right? Tell me about it. Her son is just begging her to take him to school and she's like, Hold on, honey. Mommy's working. But, you know, she did that TikTok to, you know, promote her pink sauce and probably thought to herself that people would watch this and think, Whoa! <laughs> Edgy humor. Oh, I absolutely love that. <laughs> that pink sauce is going straight in my basket. So she's done that a few times now, hasn't she? You know, drinking her sauce, dressing up as King Cooper, forcing people to try her pink sauce on the street. Speaking of which. <laughs> So do it. Do it taste like ranch? No. I don't know what it tastes like. It got its own flavor for real. Yeah, yeah, it's got. It's got its own flavor. Hmm, yeah, it's got a nice little uh, stomach ulcer flavor to it. But she literally just went up to two random people enjoying their day in some sort of fair and was like, yo, can you try this random sauce that I made in my own kitchen? I just could never imagine going up to somebody and just asking them to try my substance. Do you know what I mean? Oh, look at this woman as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She really looks like she's enjoying it. Yum, yum, yum. Can't wait for some hot diarrhea later. Ooh. I mean, you're would be on fire after eating that, do you know what I mean? Judging by how August the Duck reacted in his video, doesn't look like it tastes very nice. Look, but look, I am trying it myself, so I can't exactly judge, you know. To be honest with you, I, I've said this before, she is a good chef. She has potential, it's just the pink sauce was just, was so bad. It was terrible. Honestly, that packaging that the original pink sauce arrived in, looked like something that you find in your grandmother's attic, just covered in asbestos and tor fungus. You know, the pink sauce was new, and it was something new that was exciting, but unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, she f***ed it. Didn't she, Jess? She f***. Oh my d- Okay, Mr. Cool Guy, I see you. Damn, you guys see Jerry over there? He's repping the sunglasses. And I saw some of you guys in the comment section being concerned about where Cliff was. Guys, don't worry. Cliff is right here. He's alive and well, isn't that right, Cliff?
But speaking of death, just by looking at her TikToks, you can see the decline in mental stability. <laughs> and it's visually obvious as well. You can see she's pretty normal in this one. Then she's dressed like King Cooper. Then she looks sad. And then she seems to be in the shower with a dog's toy, chomping on a burrito. Yeah, the most mentally sane person I've ever seen. <laughs> Everybody is losing it in 2024. I think I found myself. Really? You, you, you clearly found yourself. And this person right here is the person you found? Someone who eats soggy sandwiches in the shower and sings to a dog's chew toy. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you've definitely found yourself, love. Don't worry. We all support you. We don't think you're crazy or anything. <laughs> hello, hello, please, please. Yeah, I'm, I'm in trouble. I need help. But now, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about how the pink sauce isn't pink sauce anymore. <laughs> but before that, guys, I do need to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because we are at 91k. Guys, we've been blowing up recently, and I'm so thankful to all of you that are subscribed. We're trying to get to 100k by the end of August. But to be honest here, we could do it this month. If we all band together and hit the sub button, and turn on notifications, we could easily do it by the end of the month. And I'd be so proud of us, guys, if we can reach 100k. Let's see if we can make my mum proud and prove to her that I can succeed on YouTube. Thank you very much to whoever subscribes. I love you guys. Welcome to the family. Let's get involved. But yes, why isn't the pink saucing saucing anymore? Well, I don't even know. She just sort of suddenly stopped posting so much about the pink sauce and was doing cooking videos, which is totally fine. Take a look at one of them if you want. Guys, that looks banging. I'm not gonna lie, that looks really tasty. Oh, she just, she just ruined it. Covered it in that all that pink shit again. And this time the pink stuff has chunks in it. <laughs> Never trust a sauce with chunks in it. That just sounds wild, doesn't it? Just the whole phrase, chunks in sauce. Doesn't sound right. <laughs> if we go to the recent ones, you know, we can see there's a couple of TikToks here, you know, where she is making some nice food and she's adding the sauce to it, which, you know, is just, oh, I, you, you just don't need it. I mean, you can do without the pink sauce. I mean, the, the food looks nice as it is. Why add pink sauce to it? It's just pointless. I don't see the need to cover everything in your crappy product, please. Go away. And then she posted this TikTok saying this bodysuit is too cute. You know, with uh, the bodysuit being pink again. I think she has an obsession with the color pink. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's pink, oh, I shit up, mate. You know what I mean? I fucking, hey, it's a... Oh, I just found a bit of bleach underneath my desk. Uh, I heard it could kill you if you drink it, but, oh, hang on a second. Is, is that some pink bleach I see here written on the label? Pink? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> She's got some on my skin as well. I hope my skin doesn't melt off afterwards. I better go wash my hands. Child, why did I mess around and got me one of these TikTok shop body suits? <laughs> A link is down below. <gasps> per later. Right, yeah. Right, because you've gone from making your own business and product to now promoting products off the TikTok shop that we're supposed to care about. And if we buy one, you get commission from it. Yeah, well, uh, good job, genius, because you didn't even link the product in the description. So how are we supposed to find it? And as you can see, she's not wearing the pink wig anymore, which if you didn't know, is a metaphor for her retiring. <laughs> the phrase shouldn't be, it's time to hang up the gloves. It should be, it's time to hang up the pink wig. I mean, it's not that hard to link the product. I mean, I, I, I'm i gonna double check my phone real quick just to make sure. You know, usually the product will be at the bottom there, but, uh, but you know, it's, it's not there. So, you know, it, Epic fail once again. Minus 1,000 aura for you. And then she follows up with another TikTok talking about how she's been messing around once again with a, a new product. Any ask pimple patch. Yeah? Did you leave the product link in the description this time? Let's, let's just uh, check. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that. She, uh, she, she didn't. She didn't do it. Again. I got these. And they so colorful and cute. They come in different colors and shapes and all of that. And don't worry about my nails because I'm about to take these off and change these. Anyways, but so like I was saying, I got these little pimple patches because I'm so tired of these little bumps on my face. Okay, so we're going to put a star because I'm an Aquarius. I'm a star. Oh, they come in shapes of hearts and stars, do they? Well, then they must work then, surely. <laughs> you know, because 90% of the pimple remover brands out there, most of the time it always works, doesn't it, guys? You know, usually, you know, <laughs> usually it does, doesn't it? You know, it never does. 
And then she uploads again, once again, another TikTok saying, I feel sorry for the techs, lol. Because these are obsessive. And this is the product I was talking about from the beginning of the video, which is actually called IUI Lashes DIY Extension Kit. Wow. Sounds very exciting. But the question is, did she leave the product in the description? Well, let's have a look real quick. On my phone here, is it? Oh, there. Oh, hang on. That's not it. Access rotation. She added the access rotation effect to a TikTok bio, but she 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 didn't add the product. That's like me saying, guys, subscribe to the channel memberships, baby. Link will be in the description. And then you guys check the description, and then it's just a link to the impact sound effect I use in my videos. <laughs> Prime Chef P would have had 200k likes by now. Yeah, Prime Chef P would have pulled in 200k likes, but some bad decisions were made and now she's promoting TikTok products and forgetting to link them in the description. Bad decisions were made indeed. Look guys, personally as a person, I don't dislike Chef P at all. In fact, I don't even have like any emotion towards her, but she's, she's so bad at promoting the products that it's, this TikTok is two minutes and 15 seconds long. People haven't got time to sit there and listen to you, try and convince them to purchase a product. A sale needs to be quick and snappy. You need to be straight to the point, you know, convincing them to purchase it. It's just not happening, is it? It just ain't happening. Two minutes and 15 seconds. You could do this in 30 seconds with ease. Guys, do any of you have that annoying empty space on your desk that just feels like a void of nothingness? Well, if that's the case, which I'm sure it is, check out the recent product that I found on TikTok shop. It's little toy reindeer. Not only does he fill that void on your desk, but also fills the void in your life as your new friend. And what do friends do? Well, friends are always there for you in the darkest times. Wait, hey, he's got a little lamp on him so he can help you see in the dark and help you get through those dark times and see the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> See, fuck me. That's all it needs to be. You know what I mean? Like, uh, so, guys, would you buy that little reindeer? Come on, I mean, fuck, that was awesome, wasn't it? That was much better than this shit. How can you go from the pink sauce to this? This is bad. You had such good promotional advertising marketing strategies, and you seem to have forgotten all of it, and now you're doing this. Oh my days. It's not engaging, and it doesn't make you want to buy the product anymore. You know, it's boring. It's just boring. There's no flair to it, and. You know, at least the pink sauce had some flair to it. At least the marketing had some flair to it. But this... Oh, this is just disappointing. Isn't it, yeah? Oh! Ho, ho, come on! With that said, guys, subscribe to the channel so we can get to 100k. And check out my other videos. They're very good. I find them funny. So you probably will, too. I mean, I find myself funny all the time. So who gives a shit? Nice.